Right, we are back once again in Kerbal Spears program, and today we are going to Eve for the first time. Honestly, I think this has got to be the first time in Kerbal Spears program altogether. I don't remember in KSP1 ever visiting Eve for some reason. I think it was too hard to get to, and I just didn't go to. I didn't go to a lot of planets in Kerbal Spears program one. I concentrated on quite a small area of the actual game. I didn't go to Moho, I didn't go to Elu, I didn't go to most of Jewel. I didn't go anywhere really. Just Duna and back. But yeah, anyway, on with what we are currently doing. I'm trying to make a rover. I'm skipping through the build quite fast because we... Um, we did a lot of trial and error trying to get a rover built in a way that we could actually fly it as well and look pretty cool. In the end, the rover looks <laughs> pretty terrible, I've got to admit. But we managed to get it there okay. So yeah, I'm just coming up with different ideas of how to make like a, a sky crane, but a sky crane that lands and then flies off afterwards sort of thing. So... I finally came up with a design where I would use some of the truss pieces and then just drop it off from a certain height and yeah as you can see I was I was frantically trying to figure this out and try and get it all symmetrical and not want to flip all the time so yeah we we'll ended up putting a pro core on the top which means it can control better anyway and there we go, that was successful. All we need to do is add some landing gear. And we should be good, right? Well, that's what I thought. So, what I did, I moved the engines up. Put the landing gear below the engines, like so. I thought, oh, that'll be fine. We'll just start strutting it up because everything did get a little bit wobbly. And we'll put some more fuel on. Because we need more fuel. And... The landing legs totally blocked the thrust. I didn't realise that was a thing in Kerbal Space Program 2 until now. So yeah, I moved that anyway, edited it, put the landing legs on the side rather than underneath the fuel. Uh, thrusters, sorry, not fuel. Uh, so yeah, then we're just building the fairing and we're just going to build a really OP rocket to get us to EVE. We're not needing to come back or anything. It is a rover that is just going to do reconnaissance, reconnaissance, reconnaissance for the the crew to finally land on Eve and return, hopefully, in another video very soon. So if you do want to see us go to Eve in Kerbal Space Program 2 and return with some Kerbals, uh, let me know down in the comments below and also subscribe to see more Cubs Space Program 2 content. So yes, I'm just doing a little bit of a weird design here. Just so I don't have to add boosters to this and I can do it add a little bit more power because we were underpowered. Our thrust to weight ratio was not over one. But anyway, there we go. We are on our way to Eve today. With a very bright rocket. <laughs> the the, the colour palettes I I'm still struggling to get right. I'm not very I'm not a very creative person and yeah. Also realised that Farron looks absolutely terrible. Now I'm editing this, that Farron looks absolutely stupid. And it is also bugged as you can see, it's quite open and cracked and everything. But anyway, isn't Kerbal Space Program 2 so pretty? Look at the clouds and everything. I am. Um, I've been watching videos of KSP1 lately, and I've got to admit, this is a huge improvement. It, it, it everyone has to admit the graphics are pretty insane. But yes, we um, we wanted to start our mission in style, so you know, as you do, you just do a few a few, a few flips. And head off, head off to orbit again. After that, yeah, just a just a couple of flips for um, for style. Unfortunately, Jeb wasn't piloting this time. It was just a probe core. But uh, yeah, it's a very Jeb thing to do, isn't it? Do a few flips on the way up to orbit. But yes, we are getting up to orbit. As you can see, our Delta V is absolutely 
enormous. I think what is that? Um, ten thousand Tel Aviv left after we've launched. Pretty much all of it. So yeah, I didn't actually expect this first stage to last as long as it did. And there we are. We are onto the second stage. The what fuel is this? That that fuel, that the them type of fuel, which I think are really un overpowered. Like um, it's just really, really overpowered. Obviously, y you've got to be able to use these sort of engines to do interstellar travel and stuff like that. So it is making the game a little bit easier and um, you know, scaling over time. But yes, there we go. We are in orbit. And I realised we aren't in the proper encounter position. So what I need to do is just go to the V A B, put a control, uh, put a command pod out, and then I can fully time warp to get into the position of Eve. And I got myself a little bit confused. I was looking at the chart and I was like, is it ahead? Does it need to be behind? Yep, it needs to be behind Kerbin. If it's on the inner solar system, you need to be behind Kerbin. If you're on the outer solar system, you need to be in front. Is what I am guessing. No, I think that is actually how it works. And also, if you go in the inner system, you want to you want to burn when you're coming around the front side of Kerbin, so the sun side. Yes, I am smart. I know the things. But anyway, we'll get a sort of rough idea. We are going to be able to do this mission and get an encounter. So the, with the maneuver nodes being so bugged and everything, I've just, I just sort of eyeball it myself. I was following the maneuver node at first. And I realised it was just... It was just totally changed. It it changed itself so much. So I scrapped off the maneuver node and I thought I'll just do it myself. But you can't get encounter markers appear on your orbit lines until you've left the sphere of influence of Kerbin, which is another annoying bug. Uh, yes, Kerbal Space Program Two. Beautiful but buggy game that you cannot get enough of. Well, I can't get enough of. I'm enjoying playing a lot. I am. I am really enjoying playing a lot. So I'm just messing around with Maneuver Node here, trying to get an encounter. And a pretty close one, if I can. Like close enough to where I'm not m absolutely miles away. So we'll get one down to 50,000 kilometers. That will do me. For now, and then we can move it a little bit closer when we get closer. So yes, once again, I'm just following that manoeuvre node just to get the direction I'm meant to be pointing. And then you see us all the time. I just sort of cancel the manoeuvre node so I can see what is going on for real because they just get in the way. So there we go. We'll get it all the way down to... We've got it down to like... 2,000 kilometers but I started going back up and I didn't cancel the fuel fast enough didn't cancel the throttle fast enough sorry I do apologize so yes we are just trying to use now at this point I am trying to use these blue orbs to figure out what our orbit line would have been and I managed to get it to a point where we are impacting on Eve and that's pretty much what I want because I just I know I'm going to be close enough there and then I can get into an orbit after that because look I've still got 6,000 delta V still got a lot of fuel and I can waste fuel shame could be said about my next video um yes my next video is a little bit on the touch and go side and failure so if you want to see that, do subscribe and you'll get to see the next video, which is an absolute mess of a video mission. But we turn it into something else, so never mind.
right, anyway, on with what we're doing here. So I'm just getting into an orbit around Eve, and a beautiful Eve that is. Look at that. This is on Max Graphics as well, I have to say. I am running on Max Graphics. And it does look really good. Now, I was wondering how on earth I'm meant to find somewhere to land, because I can't tell what's land and what's sea. But I figured out on the map view, if you look close on Eve, you can tell where the land is and where the sea is. And also sometimes in orbit, if you're this far away in orbit, you can see part of the land because the water reflects. There you go, you can see. So I figured, right, I can see land here. We are going to land here. This is where we are going to come down. So we'll just go roundabouts here because there is a big portion of land here. So we're just once again popping over node and get rid of it. Ah, uh, there you go. There, you can see you can see the land that there. It was a bit quick, but you can see. So we just ditch all that fuel. We don't need it anymore. Unfortunately, we are just polluting Eve's atmosphere with fuel. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's already purple enough, isn't it? Does that mean it's polluted? I don't know. <laughs> no, it definitely does not. Right. So, yes, we are coming down. And the clouds look a bit funky. I've got to admit, the clouds on Eve look way funky. And we started to spin, so... I made the mistake of deploying my parachutes. We are still 43 kilometers up from the surface. And I have all my parachutes out, slowing down very rapidly, which was a really stupid idea. Because this took quite a long time to get down. I quite I cut a lot of this out, because um, it does take a lot of time. And that's why it's sped up so fast, because once again, it takes a long time. But don't worry, wait for the landing, I will slow it down in real time. And you can see what the lag is like on EVE as well. Which is actually, for the amount of clouds that's around, it's not actually that bad. I don't think it's that bad at all. And if you want to know my specs, they are in the description. Right, so the best part of the video everyone comes to see is the random word generator. Yes, if you have made it this far in the video... I normally do this when it's a bit of a boring time in the video because not much is happening right now. We're just falling with style. But uh, yes, we have got to pick a random word from a random word generator and you have to include it in your comments somewhere and make it into a bit of a sentence. So yes, the word of today is agency. That's funny that, isn't it? It's quite a coincidence that it's picked that. We're flying a space agency, and it's, it's picked agency as the random word of the day. But anyway, I'm I'm talking a load of crap. Let's uh, get on with the mission again. And the parachute noise really is really annoying. You can hear that, can't you? It's like parachutes slapping each other. It's really annoying. But there we go, a slow down in real time here. Getting 20, 20 to 25 FPS. Not too bad for the amount of parts I have, the amount of engines I have, the amount of parachutes that I've getting physically drawn, and ultra graphics with all the clouds. Yeah, it's not actually that bad of performance, I don't think. So I decided to just put SES on and point up just for when we engage the engines because I do want to engage the engines to have a nice soft touchdown. We did end up putting too much fuel on this. But it doesn't really matter. Actually, no we didn't end up putting too much fuel on. We didn't have enough fuel. What am I talking about? You'll see what I mean anyway. In a, in a little bit. Right, so we're just slowing down to have a nice 1.2 meters per second touchdown there, brilliant, and got a little bit of lag while the parachutes decided to destroy themselves. 
And there we go, we are finally down on the surface of Eve for the first time ever for myself have I landed on Eve. And Eve did not look this brown before, I'm sure. Eve was not brown, was it? Was it always brown? But anyway, let's launch away the landing crane. Now I launched it away and I thought, oh, this would be pretty cool to crash. And then I had a second thought here and I was like, no, no, actually, let's land it and keep it. We'll keep it for another time and just remember about it and... Nope. We ran out of fuel, didn't we? But luckily, we were able to switch craft and get to the rover. And I just... Yeah, I really hate this. I really did a bad design. A desi bad design choice. What's with the random red light I put on the top? I have no idea. But anyway, there there we go. We can drive around. The wheels are slightly underpowered, so I start driving towards a lake to set up like a colony over there at some point. And it could not make it over the hill, so I ended up uh, just leaving it. Now, funny story, I went back into the save and this got stuck under the ground. So I had to use Lazy, Or Lazy Orbit is the name of the mod. To get it back, landed on Eve, but obviously I didn't know where the coordinates were, so I ended up just in the random middle part of Eve, so that is annoying, but we will get it back to where it was before. So, that yeah, that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.